Well, Spokane Elementary School grieving the loss of one of its star students. Ten-year-old Gracie Snyder died over the weekend in a car accident as she was coming back from a soccer game in Yakima. Tonight, KXY 4's Kylie Cruz live at Cooper Elementary with how the school is remembering this beloved fourth grader. Kylie. And Nadine Cooper Elementary has suffered a great loss. Everyone is in mourning here and it's even more difficult because Gracie's mom Gretchen is the counselor here and she is like the rock of the school and she obviously can't be here right now and with Gracie gone and Gretchen not here, the students and staff at Cooper are leaning on each other and doing their best to keep Gracie's memory alive. We have a desk in our classroom right now that um, is empty and um, it's Gracie's spot. In fourth grade, you never imagine losing a classmate. After all, you're just 10. There is a void that is going to be there because she's not here because she filled it for everybody. That girl is sweet little Gracie Snyder, who died in a car accident over the weekend. Gracie was probably one of the kindest, most amazing children you'll ever meet. Just last week, she was running around on this playground and learning math and science in Miss Campesino's class. I'm so struck at the impact that one small little girl has had on so many people. Today, Miss Campesino asked her students to describe Gracie's impact on their lives. What they saw in Gracie was not perf absolute perfection, but they saw her as somebody that followed the rules, tried their best, and when they made a mistake, um, she owned up to it. With a colorful personality and a smile that would brighten up any room, Gracie loved life. In her very short period of time, she was just a force in everything. Everybody really felt that she was their absolute best friend or somebody that they were very close to. For the fourth day in a row, those kids are remembering their best friend, wise beyond her years. But I think most importantly, she she took she showed all of my kids to be the person that they are inside and she was competitive determined a role model her life was short but her legacy is as big as they come and what's truly been incredible during this difficult time is the outpouring of support the school has received from the community. They've had additional teachers come in to help in the classroom. They've also had counselors here every day to talk to students and staff. People have brought in meals. They've uh, given gifts. They provided condolences. The school really blown away by all the love. Nadine. Oh, I can only imagine. Kylie, how is the school planning to uh, honor Gracie's life? Well, Nadine, they have a couple of ideas of ways that they can honor Gracie's life, and I can share a couple of them with you. Uh, one thing is they want to rename the community garden here at Cooper to Gracie's Garden. They also want to plant a tree uh, that will blossom every spring in a vibrant color because that's who Gracie was. She was vibrant and she was colorful, and she will definitely be missed here at Cooper.